Hello dear students of class 5, you are welcome to unit 17, reading second. Answer the following questions. How do you feel when you see birds and planes flying in the sky? I used to fly too when I see birds and planes flying in the sky. And question, second question is, do you wish you could fly? Why? Yes, I wish I could fly because flying is one of the exciting things. Now, dear students, uh, this is the solve uh, solve the crossword puzzle with the words from the poem their meanings are given below so here see across seaside or land near sea this is c o s t coast c o a s t coast and dive uh, next four dive s w o p soup means dive soup now it's still on uh, above surface fifth and this one okay it's f l o a t float float means above surface float now down a beach or seaside number two shore shor shore this is called shore okay beach or seaside is called shor shore okay all right down yes yes o r okay r is shore shore means a beach uh, okay beach uh seaside called shor shore now catch or grapes catch or grass this third one down third one down okay so your uh, s-o-l hold means catch on catch or grabs and fly or rise fourth one fly or rise s-o-e-r sure means fly or rise next uh, answer the following question so why does the poet ask you to close your eyes in the first stanza uh, the first asks us to close our eyes so that we can fly around the clouds across the sky answer is the poet asks us to close our eyes so that we can fly around the clouds. Next B, where will the poet take you to in, this, in the second stanza? The poet will take us to the moon in the second stanza. Now question C, where do you start your journey in the fourth stanza? We start our journey from pointy peak to slippery shore. Now, now question number D, why will you need to come back home? We need to come back home for eggs and toast, for food. It means for food. We need to come back. We will need to come back home for food. Next is, if you were given a free year ticket, where would you like to fly to? Why to? If I were given a free year ticket, so if this first one is capital letter, okay, write down if, okay. Mm, yeah, if I were given a free air ticket, I would like to go to the moon to see the things there. Now, study the different forms of sentence in the following. Okay, this is affirmative, this is negative, and this is question. Okay, so uh, okay, we should use not after auxiliary verbs to make a negative. I'm the negative. Um, this is the example for you. Now match the sentence in the left box with the situations given in the right box. Number first one. I think it will rain today. So you know, the match situation is okay. Here. Okay. So it's a cloudy day. So this is uh, it's cloudy. The situation. Is, okay. I think it will rain today. Today. It's a cloudy day. Now it's B. I will go to the library tomorrow. I want to borrow some story books. I want to borrow some story books. So I want to go to I will go to the library today. Now C. She will help you with maths. Now this B. You need some more practice. Now D. What will you do on a sa Sunday? What will you do on a Sunday? I will go home. I will come to your house. I will come to your house. I will not eat junk food. It's unhealthy. Second, it matches the second situation. And will you come to play with me? Okay, I have got no friends. The situation is I have got no friends. Now rearrange the following words to form sensible sentences. So we should form, okay arrange these words to make sentences. I will not go home now. So you have to first write subject and auxiliary verb and not and main verb okay i will not go home to now now be okay we will give him the present tomorrow so first of all we subject and uh, actually we will give him the present tomorrow now see 
will not meet her next month in India. We will not meet her or we won't meet her next month in India. Now D. In Pokhara, Spain, okay, you can see. I will spend my holiday in Pokhara next year. Okay, you can make sentence in this in this way. Now I will take the book to the new live to the library today. I will subject plus will take okay. Next one. We will go to the cinema tomorrow. And last one. Uh, will they so that is a question mark. So we should bring actually about first. Will they take a test at the school next week? Nice speaking. Look at the fix, following pictures and talk about them. What is happening in the picture? Match the picture with the comments given in the box. So here, the first picture. Okay, be this. I'm going. It is. I'm going to swim. It means I'm going to swim. This means. Okay, C one. I will sleep for sure. So that this you know, and the picture means I will sleep for sure. And this picture E. Okay, E means the father and son will catch fish. So this is they are going to catch fish, and uh, this is rain. Okay, going to rain. So you can write this A. It's going to rain. You can see black clouds in the sky, and last one. Okay, D. They are going to listen to a story. Act out the following conversation. Underline the verbs from that so future tense. So you can see future tense. So this will. Also, uh, going to also so you know I'm going to this is this also shows future condition future activity so focus on will so use will or going to talk about your future plans say at least five sentences I will go to market next Saturday I'm going to take the exam tomorrow I will help my uh, mother in the field tomorrow morning I'm going to practice music next week so you can make your own sentences dear students this is all about the last unit of your textbook unit 17 dear students thank you for watching